Hey guys, so this might be a little bit of an awkward angle, um, but, uh, I don't know if I ever said this, my tripod broke, like, completely. Um, so I'm just standing it up on stuff. Um, but I was gonna vlog today, and then wasn't gonna vlog, and I'm still not gonna vlog but this is going to go up as a vlog. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, I have like just some information I want to tell you guys about um, and then just kind of like leave it at that. Uh, so I guess this is more like a medical update. Um, and just as a warning, um, this is about gynecological problems. Um, so I'm going to be talking about my period, but hopefully nobody's bothered by that. Um, so I see the same gynecologist that my mom saw actually when she was pregnant with me, and uh, he's great. Last time we saw him <laughs> was um, in February of 2015, and... Um, yeah, I think it was February 2015 or 2016. Um, the reason I remember that was because that night I got admitted to the hospital and I had meningitis. Um, so since then, I haven't gone back. And, you know, once you hit being 18 or, um, or once you're 18 and sexually active or you're 21, that's really the time that you need to be going to see a gynecologist. So, um... Yeah, I was, I was just, you know, supposed to go in yearly to get my gynecological exam and everything, whatever. Because of everything else with my health, I guess for whatever reason, we figured that I'm a low risk for cancers and, like, things that are worrisome, like, in that field. So we kind of just pushed it off, but we finally made an appointment and I went and saw him today. Now the backstory is that, and I may have mentioned this, I've not had my period since April of last year. And I figured it was malnutrition, um, obviously, because my stomach has been so messed up for like a year and a half now, and, you know. So I figured that, that it was just having to do with that. I didn't get it checked out because I was like, this is great, I'm not getting my period, that's beautiful, like, you know, I don't have to deal with this. Um, and then the past couple of days, I've had, like, a, not really, like, a, a discharge, but it's, like, a little, like, dark, dark, dark brown, like, discharge, sort of. Um, but not enough that I'd wear a liner or anything. Like, I wouldn't wear anything for it. It's just I kind of have this, like, slight discharge. And he said he saw it. It's not really anywhere else, but he saw it by my cervix. And uh, he did the pap smear, I think, and everything. Um, and then he went to go to, uh, I guess like a, I think it is called a transvaginal exam, where basically he puts his fingers in my vagina and he presses down across my stomach to um, check my ovaries and my fallopian tubes and my uterus and everything. And the second he put his hand down, not even really even with pressing on my left side, on my ovary, he was like, yeah, you have a mass on your ovary. And so he was like, well, that makes sense. You know, if you have a mass there, that makes sense with the, the like, random, not actual bleeding, bleeding, um, and not having my period for a year. So now knowing that I have something there, um, that I have to go for testing, now knowing that I have something there, um, is scaring me because obviously it's gone on long enough that I haven't had my period for a year. So this is something that doesn't seem like it's just going to go away because if this is what's caused everything, then I, I would need to get whatever it is removed. He said it's either a cyst or a fibroid. Um, I've had cysts on my ovaries before. Um, they've either ruptured or um, my body has dissolved them back in. Um, fibroids 
are tumors, but they're non-cancerous, I think. I don't know very much about fibroids. Um, but this is potentially going to turn into something that I'm going to require surgery for. And I just didn't expect this. There's a chance, there's a major chance I won't need surgery. Or there's not a major chance, but there is a chance I might not need surgery, but I, and I know it's quick, it would be ambulatory, I wouldn't be in the hospital, it's not that big of a deal, it would be laparoscopic, but um, it's not necessarily the news, it's just that it was something that I thought was okay-ish, and it was something I didn't have my focus on. You know, I've focused on my other problems in trying to see these doctors to help fix the, you know, the problems that seem to be more important, like the recently with the migraines um, and the abdominal pain and and all of that stuff. Um, so I wanted to come here and tell you guys what he said and what's going on. My doctor is amazing. Um, I'm going to be going to get a um, regular and transvaginal ultrasound on Tuesday and then he said um, to call like a week and a half maybe 10 days after I have the scan um, so I can get the results and then I have to go see him in person in a month so we made that appointment just with every like I don't know it's just it I'm bu I'm bummed I'm really bummed from it um, you know, normally I don't want my mom to be alone and I don't want her cooking or being in the kitchen doing her, her thing by herself, but I'm just like, I just want to be in bed right now. So um, I have Better Call Saul going. I'm sorry, I didn't think I was going to end up crying. And I'm working on a scarf. So, um, I'm thinking maybe I can finish this tonight or tomorrow. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm waiting for my friend Chris to get off of work and he's going to tell me and my mom I need to tape my hip up. Um, I'm having problems with it kind of slipping around right now, but... Um, Here's my update. I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on. Um, so, sorry today wasn't interesting. We did go to Panera. We went to my grandma's, you know. But, I'll talk to you guys later. I just wanted to put that all out there. Um, and let you guys know what's going on so it's not a surprise if something happens. Thank you guys always for the support.